Which one of the following countries has the longest coastal line? A. India. B. Canada. C. Australia. D. Brazil. The correct answer is, B. Canada. Canada has a coastline of 202,080 kilometers, 125,567 miles, which is longer than the coastlines of India, 7,517 kilometers, Australia, 25,760 kilometers, and Brazil, 7,491 kilometers. Canada's coastline is so long because it is a large country with a long coastline on three oceans, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. The country also has many islands, which add to the length of its coastline. India's coastline is shorter than Canada's because it is a smaller country with a shorter coastline on the Indian Ocean. Australia's coastline is shorter than Canada's because it is a smaller country with a shorter coastline on the Pacific Ocean. Brazil's coastline is shorter than Canada's because it is a smaller country with a shorter coastline on the Atlantic Ocean. Where is Rural Development and Migration Prevention Commission of Uttarakhand situated? A. Almora. B. Tehri, Garewal. C. Puri, Garewal. D. Uttarkashi. The correct answer is, B. Tehri, Garewal. The Rural Development and Migration Prevention Commission of Uttarakhand is situated in Tehri, Garewal. It was established in 2001 with the objective of promoting rural development and preventing migration from rural areas. The Commission has been working towards achieving its objectives by implementing various schemes and programs. The Commission has its headquarters in Tehri, Garewal. It has also established regional offices in different parts of the state. The Commission has a team of experienced and qualified professionals who are working towards achieving its objectives. The Commission has been successful in implementing various schemes and programs. It has also been able to generate awareness about the importance of rural development and migration prevention. The Commission has also been able to provide assistance to the rural people in various ways. The Commission is working towards achieving its objectives in a phased manner. It has already achieved some success in its efforts. The Commission is confident that it will be able to achieve its objectives in the near future. The other options are incorrect because the Rural Development and Migration Prevention Commission of Uttarakhand is not situated in any of those places. Which pair amongst the following is not correctly matched? A. The Queen of Adriatic Sea A. Rome B. Lorraine Coalfields A. France C. West Midlands A. Birmingham D. Tula A. Russia The correct answer is, A. The Queen of Adriatic Sea is Venice, not Rome B. Lorraine Coalfields are located in France C. West Midlands is a metropolitan county in the West Midlands region of England. Its major city is Birmingham. D. Tula is a city and the administrative center of Tula Oblast, Russia. It is located on the UPA River, 186 kilometers, 116 miles, south of Moscow. Where was the first magnesite factory established in Uttarakhand? A. Ramgarh. B. Gangali Hat. C. Chumba. D. Hirali. The correct answer is, A. Ramgarh. Ramgarh is a town and a Nagar Panchayat in Nanital district in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. It is located in the Kuman region of the state. The town is known for its scenic beauty and its proximity to the Nanital lake. The first magnesite factory in Uttarakhand was established in Ramgarh in 1962. The factory is owned and operated by the National Mineral Development Corporation, NMDC. The factory produces magnesite, which is a mineral used in a variety of industries, including the steel, chemical, and refractory industries. The other options are incorrect. Gangali Hat is a town in Chamoli district in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. Chamba is a town in Tehri Garewal district in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. Yahirali is a town in Chhattisgarh, India. In, in India maximum number of cities reporting slums are found in A. Andhra Pradesh B. Maharashtra C. Tamil Nadu D. Uttar Pradesh The correct answer is, B. Maharashtra. Maharashtra has the maximum number of cities reporting slums in India. According to the 2011 census, there were 1,149 slums in Maharashtra, with a total population of 11.2 million. This is followed by Uttar Pradesh, 9.7 million, Andhra Pradesh, 8.2 million, and Tamil Nadu, 7.9 million. The main reasons for the high number of slums in Maharashtra are rapid urbanization, poverty, and lack of affordable housing. The state has witnessed rapid urbanization in recent years, with many people migrating from rural areas in search of jobs. This has led to a shortage of affordable housing, forcing many people to live in slums. Poverty is another major reason for the high number of slums in Maharashtra. According to the 2011 census, the poverty rate in the state was 22.5%. This means that nearly one-fourth of the population of Maharashtra lives below the poverty line. This lack of income makes it difficult for people to afford decent housing, forcing them to live in slums. The lack of affordable housing is a major problem in Maharashtra. 
The state has a shortage of 2.5 million affordable houses. This shortage has led to an increase in the number of slums. The government has taken some steps to address this problem, but they have not been enough. The government needs to take more effective measures to address the problem of slums in Maharashtra. This includes providing affordable housing, improving infrastructure in slums, and providing basic services such as education and health care. Name the district of Uttarakhand where Kartik Swami Temple is situated. A Uttarkashi. B. Chamoli. C. Rudraprayag. D. Almora. The correct answer is, A. Uttarkashi. Kartik Swami Temple is situated in the town of Uttarkashi, in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. The temple is dedicated to the Hindu god Kartikeya, also known as Skanda or Murugan. It is one of the most important temples in the state, and is a popular pilgrimage destination. The temple is located on the banks of the Ganges River, at an altitude of about 2,000 meters, 6,600 feet. It is a large complex, with several shrines and temples. The main shrine is dedicated to Kartikeya, and is said to be the spot where he was born. The temple is also home to a number of other shrines, dedicated to various Hindu gods and goddesses. The Kartik Swami Temple is a popular tourist destination, and is visited by thousands of pilgrims every year. The temple is open all year round, but the best time to visit is during the months of April to June, when the weather is pleasant. Here is a brief description of each option, A. Uttarkashi, Uttarkashi is a district in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. It is located in the Garewal Himalayas, and is the northernmost district of the state. The district is home to a number of important Hindu temples, including the Kartik Swami Temple. B. Chamoli, Chamoli is a district in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. It is located in the Garewal Himalayas, and is the second largest district in the state. The district is home to a number of important Hindu temples, including the Kedarnath Temple. C. Rudraprayag, Rudraprayag is a town in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. It is located in the Garewal Himalayas, and is the headquarters of the Rudraprayag district. The town is a popular tourist destination, and is home to a number of important Hindu temples, including the Triyoji Narayan Temple. D. Almora, Almora is a town in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. It is located in the Kilman Himalayas, and is the headquarters of the Almora district. The town is a popular tourist destination, and is home to a number of important Hindu temples, including the Jishwar Temple. Gwadar Port is located in A. Pakistan B. Iran C. India D. Sri Lanka The correct answer is A. Pakistan Gwadar Port is a deep water port located in the Balochistan province of Pakistan. It is situated on the Arabian Sea, at the mouth of the Persian Gulf. The port is strategically important, as it provides a gateway to Central Asia and the Middle East. It is also a major economic hub, and is expected to play a significant role in the development of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC. Option, B, Iran, is incorrect because Gwadar port is not located in Iran. Iran is a country located in the Middle East, bordering Pakistan to the east. Option, C, India, is incorrect because Gwadar port is not located in India. India is a country located in South Asia, bordering Pakistan to the west. Option, D, Sri Lanka, is incorrect because Gwadar port is not located in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is an island country located in the Indian Ocean, off the coast of India. The area under forests in Uttarakhand state is A. 34,651 square km B. 30,662 square km C. 28,462 square km D. 22,462 square km The correct answer is A. 34,651 square km Uttarakhand is a state in India with a total area of 53,483 square km. Of this, 64.5% is under forest cover. This makes Uttarakhand a state with the highest forest cover in India. The main forest types in Uttarakhand are, tropical moist deciduous forests subtropical broadleaf forests Himalayan alpine forests montane coniferous forests The forests of Uttarakhand play a vital role in the state's economy and environment. They provide a habitat for a variety of wildlife, including tigers, leopards, elephants, and deer. The forests also help to regulate the climate, prevent soil erosion, and provide water for irrigation and drinking. In recent years, the forests of Uttarakhand have been under threat from deforestation, mining, and development projects. However, the state government has taken steps to protect the forests, including the creation of several national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. The following are the options for the question, A, 34,651 square kilometer, this is the correct answer. The area under forests in Uttarakhand state is 34,651 square kilometer, b, 30,662 square kilometer, this is the area under forests in Uttar Pradesh state. c, 28,462 square kilometer, 
this is the area under forests in Madhya Pradesh state. D. 22,462 square kilometer, this is the area under forests in Rajasthan state. The most urbanized district in Uttarakhand is A. Dehradun B. Nanital C. Haridbar D. Almora The correct answer is A. Dehradun Dehradun is the most urbanized district in Uttarakhand. It is the capital of Uttarakhand and is located in the Garewal region of the state. The city has a population of over 1 million people and is a major tourist destination. Dehradun is also home to a number of educational institutions, including the Indian Institute of Technology Roorkee and the University of Dehradun. Nanital is a city in the Kuman region of Uttarakhand. It is a popular tourist destination and is known for its scenic beauty. The city has a population of over 300,000 people. Haridvar is a city in the Haridvar district of Uttarakhand. It is a major Hindu pilgrimage site and is located on the banks of the Ganges River. The city has a population of over 200,000 people. Almora is a city in the Almora district of Uttarakhand. It is the headquarters of the district and is located in the Kuman region of the state. The city has a population of over 100,000 people. Where has the Wildlife Protection Center been established in Uttarakhand? A. Kalagarha B. Ramnagar C. Dhikala D. Kaladumri The correct answer is, B. Ramnagar. The Ramnagar Wildlife Sanctuary is a protected area in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. It is located in the Kuman region, in the Nanital district. The sanctuary was established in 1936, and it covers an area of 1,280 square kilometers. The sanctuary is home to a variety of wildlife, including tigers, leopards, elephants, deer, and monkeys. It is also home to a number of birds, including the great hornbill, the peacock, and the kingfisher. The Ramnagar Wildlife Sanctuary is a popular tourist destination. Visitors can go on safaris to see the wildlife, or they can hike in the sanctuary. There are also a number of temples and other historical sites in the area. The other options are incorrect. A. Kalagarha is a town in the Nanital district of Uttarakhand. It is located on the banks of the Ramganga River. Kalagarha is a popular tourist destination, and it is home to a number of temples and other historical sites. C. Jhikala is a forest area in the Nanital district of Uttarakhand. It is located in the Kuman region, and it is home to a variety of wildlife, including tigers, leopards, elephants, deer, and monkeys. Dhikala is a popular tourist destination, and it is home to a number of safari lodges. D. Kala Dumri is a hill in the Nanital district of Uttarakhand. It is located in the Kuman region, and it is a popular tourist destination. Kala Dumri offers stunning views of the surrounding mountains and valleys.